Hi. Again. James time. And this is the last one for James 4. These are the ending verses. Um, James 4, 13 through 17. Um, and as always, before we look into the scripture, God asks the Holy Spirit. So please pray with me. Jesus, thank you for today. Do this as we study your Holy Spirit to come down here and that we may understand these things that we are looking at, that we are reading. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Do this today. In your name we pray. Amen. James 4, near the end. <clears throat> Verse 13 says, A warning about self confidence. I think we all had moments of self confidence. Look here. You who say, Today or tomorrow, we are going to a certain town and will stay there a year, we will do business there and make a profit. So, as we all do, we make plans. Um, today, tomorrow, the next day, a year from now, two months from now, whatever. We're going to go. We're going to make uh, plans here. We'll, we'll be here for a while. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Um, then it says in 14, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? How do you know? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. What you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or do that. So instead of our normal planning, how we go about things, right? Um, that, that today, the next day, a month from now, whatever. We're going to be doing such and such. <laughs> no, I get the Bible is telling me. Um, don't worry about it. Don't plan that far ahead. Hmm. God wants you to go and go. If not, then don't. I think that's a hard thing to think about and to deal with. That in such a way, we want to plan. We want to figure out all these things. But in reality, we should be asking God, Hey, well, what do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? That's a dangerous, tough prayer. I told this story before of how I got into ministry, how I got where I am. Um, and, and in that, a big part was I just sat down and I asked God, tell me what to do with my life, my career. And he answered very quickly. And since he answered in such a pretty clear way, I couldn't say no. Be careful though when asking that and praying that. Because if you truly want an answer, you'll get one. But it might not be the one that you like or want to. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own plans <laughs> and all boasting like that evil. Again, this, this reliance on ourself, trying to pry us away from this reliance that we have on ourself, on our own thinking, on our own ideas, our own way of things. Trying to pry us away from it. That's kind of, what, kind of what this whole chapter is about. About getting close to God, being near Him and in a relationship with Him that you then uh, rely totally on him and on nothing else. Jesus. And in the last verse, remember, it's a sin to know what you ought to do and then not do. 
right? Definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. But this whole chapter of, of this idea of coming close to God, of being in a relationship with Him, of getting close to Him. That it closes with and says, hey, don't rely on your own plans, on your own thoughts. That's a tough one and a big one to be able to, to wrap our minds around. That instead of focusing on my own way of doing things and my own plans, asking God what I need to do. Tough. But we can do it. But we need prayer and we need uplifting of each other and we need to continue to dive and be in the scripture and in the word. Let's continue to do that. As we come back next time, it will be in James 5 in the new chapter. <laughs> and it's crazy to think that that'll be it. Do a few videos on James 5 and, and that's going to be it. And we'll need to do a new book. Um, I'm open to suggestions. I'd, I'd love to hear books. You guys would love to, to go through and dive in. That'd be awesome. Leave those in the comments. Text me, whatever. <clears throat> I'd love to hear a new books you guys would want to do. Um, yeah, next time we'll be in James 5. That was James 4. So let me pray with you. Jesus, thank you for this opportunity to read and to learn and to study your word. Be with us today as we meditate on the things that uh, you've set forth with us that we can rely on, we can focus on you and our plans and our, and our future endeavors. That's about you. And now what we have to offer. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for his sacrifice, for the amazing love that he's shown us. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again. Uh, for, for watching these, for sharing them. Continue to do so. I appreciate it. Um, another little break. Needed it to feel natural. Again, I don't want to force anything. So, uh, an another day down. We'll be back in James 5, closing out uh, the book of James. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>